On December 1, 1833, Roswell Nichols reported his experience with Mormon prophet Joseph Smith's father, Joseph Smith Sr., and the Smith family in New York. He said, I, Roswell Nichols, first became acquainted with the family of Joseph Smith Sr. nearly five years ago, and I lived a neighbor to the said family about two years. My acquaintance with the family has enabled me to know something of its character for good citizenship, probity and veracity, for breach of contracts, for the non-payment of debts and borrowed money, and for duplicity with their neighbors, the family was notorious. Once, since the gold Bible speculation commenced, the old man was sued, and while the sheriff was at his house, he lied to him and was detected in the falsehood. Before he left the house, he confessed that it was sometimes necessary for him to tell an honest lie in order to live. At another time, he told me that he had received an express command for me to repent and believe as he did, or I must be damned. I refused to comply and at the same time told him of the various impositions of his family. He then stated their digging was not for money, but it was for the obtaining of a gold Bible, thus contradicting what he had told me before, for he had often said, that the hills in our neighborhood were nearly all erected by human hands, that they were all full of gold and silver. And one time, when we were talking on the subject, he pointed to a small hill on my farm and said, In that hill there is a stone which is full of gold and silver. I know it to be so, for I have been to the hole. And God said unto me, Go not in now, but at a future day you shall go in and find the book open, and then you shall have the treasures. He said that gold and silver was once as plenty as the stones in the field are now that the ancients, half of them melted the ore and made the gold and silver, while the other half buried it deeper in the earth, which accounted for these hills. Upon my inquiring who furnished the food for the whole, he flew into a passion and called me a sinner, and said he, You must be eternally damned. I mention these facts not because of their intrinsic importance, but simply to show the weak-mindedness and low character of the man.